coronavirus pandemic, to say that it has created challenges is an understatement. And I think it's important to remember that everybody is doing the best they can to handle something that has not been seen in more than a century. And in doing so, the way that we have been able to partner is testament to how hard people are working to try to stay agile, to try to stay flexible and resilient, and yet at the same time be able to plan when this whole virus is a moving target. And so to be able to have that partnership, to be able to reach out and say, hey, here is something from our skilled nursing facilities that we hear, here is something that we could use your help on with the geriatricians or with the palliative care providers and infection control. I think that really is a testament to the way that we're coming together as a full healthcare system to address this crisis. So, you know, one example of the partnership that actually predated COVID, but then have enabled us to be more effective in our COVID response is work with our skilled nursing facility partners around how to have more effective and efficient communication during transfers to our emergency room. So with the health systems in our area, partnering with skilled nursing facilities, we created a standard form that provides in a very succinct and easy to read fashion all of the relevant information that a skilled nursing facility would need to convey to an emergency room provider when a patient is being transferred. And you can only imagine when we then entered the coronavirus pandemic, just how critical it has been to have that succinct, efficient, and thorough way of providing information when patients are being transferred more frequently, when patients are sick and really do need care to be addressed Having a partnership that had created a mutually beneficial method of communication was critical.